Yo, what's up? Yeah, man, it's your boy coming to you with a throwback movie. 1999, what a great year. For one, back in the 80s, Prince dropped a song, 1999, and then it came into fruition in 1999. He re-released the song and was a number one hit, and that year was great with movies. Oh, buddy, you had the new Star Wars joint, man. But one movie that came out late summer that surprised everyone, Bowfinger. This is a movie starring uh, Steve Martin and Eddie Murphy. And these two never worked together. You know, they were alumni from Saturday Night Live back in the 1980s, but up until this point, they never did nothing together. Now, this movie was written by Steve Martin and directed by Frank Oz. Y'all like, who in the hell is Frank Oz? He's only one of the best directors of all time. He did Little Shop of Horrors, he did The Dark Crystal. Okay, put some respect on the man's name. And it's a dope ass name too, Frank Oz. But this movie was lightning in a bottle. It was funny as shit. Uh, Eddie Murphy played two characters in this movie. You know, it's when he first started really getting into that. Man, he is hilarious. I watched this the other night on HBO Max. I haven't seen it in a while. I'm telling you, I was laughing my ass off. My stomach was hurting. I had tears rolling down my face. Here's the premise. Steve Martin's character is a 48-year-old director who's never had any success in Hollywood. He was in a few small films as an actor, but as a director, no success whatsoever. So he has this group of people that are actors. Uh, a young man, he has an older seasoned veteran actress played by Christine Bronkowski. I love her. She, she's been around Hollywood for a long time. Beautiful, unique looking woman. And she can do comedy, everything, villainous roles, play the housewife. I love this woman, woman, excuse me, in all her films. You have also um, Heather Graham is in this film. Now, I didn't know who she was years ago. I seen her in uh, Austin Powers, the spy who shagged me. I'm like, damn, this motherfucker is fine. Then for the soundtrack of that same film, Austin Powers, she did a video with uh, Lenny Kravitz, American Woman. And the way she's dancing and the way she's dressed in that movie, I'm like, damn. Ooh, buddy, buddy, buddy. Anyway, back to the plot, man. He's trying to find a movie for these people, get a script. And uh, he has no luck. His accountant slash friend wrote this script called Chubby Rain. And he fell in love with it. As dumb as it sounds, he found something special about this script. So he calls up everybody. Hey, we have one last shot at this. I'm going to talk to a famous producer. And this famous producer was uh, played by uh, Robert Downing Jr. He said, I'm going to meet with him at a restaurant. You know, and he does all these elaborate things. He has a buddy that works out in Hollywood lots. Gets him to borrow cars, cars for him and go places where he could look fancy. And he's over talking, using a fake cell phone, act like he's talking to Kit Ramsey, played by Eddie Murphy, that, hey, I got a new action film coming out. And in this movie, Eddie Murphy plays like Arnold Schwarzenegger. He's the hottest, biggest action star in the world. There's gigantic movie posters all over LA. You know, this guy is the man. And he said this lie that he's gonna be in his next film, Chubby Rain. And talking loud so Robert Downey Jr. can overhear him. He's like, look, if you really truly got Kit Ramsey to be in this movie, I'll produce it. i fund all the money. He knew he was lying because this dude had a car phone that he tore off that Mercedes. And the string is dangling <laughs> from the receiver. So he's know he's full of shit. He's like, look, whatever. Yeah, you can do this. Fine, fine. And he goes to Kit Ramsey's house. 
uh, sneaks on the property and act like he's a delivery guy for uh, scripts. He hands Eddie Murphy this script. And, um, you know, he's trying to, like, you know, befriend him. Eddie Murphy's on his way to this mind head uh, meeting. It's a place where they get into your head, help you, movie stars, rich people who have problems, social problems and mental problems. He said, yeah, I'm a member too, and blah, 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 you know. Got hopped in the limousine with him. Eddie Murphy's going to give him a ride. Eddie Murphy found out he was lying and threw his ass out the limousine. Shit was funny as hell. And then, later on, they're shooting this film. They said, well, we're going to shoot this film. And Kip Ramsey, Eddie Murphy's character, is not going to know he's in the film. We're going to shoot around his scenes, and later on, we'll just try to figure it out. He just seen something special in his friends and co cohorts that... um made him feel good like man we're working he didn't want to break anybody's heart he pulled out his lifetime savings and started production on his film but he had everything working for him he had a again a buddy that worked at the hollywood lots he needed a crew this guy drives to the border and oh this is some racist ass shit but it's funny as shit he gets all these mexicans that are obviously not legal running from <laughs> Uh, the police <laughs> getting shot. They go, get him on, get him my man, get him my man. He steals about four Mexicans and brings them back to the United States, man. Shit is crazy. And they don't speak any English or anything, but he got these people to be his grips. Uh, cameramen, lighting. Oh, that's some racist shit, but it is funny. This is back in 1999. You can still get away with that shit. And they're looking for auditions and people like that and this is when they met Heather Graham's character uh, she auditioned she's from a small town looking for big hopes and dreams in Hollywood and you know her role is she sleeps with everybody and to the, to she makes it to the top uh, she can't act worth shit but you know we don't care as long as we see those titties and that ass so they're looking for a stand in for Kip Ramsey because he's missing in action because he's having a lot of problems with social anxiety, so he goes away for a few days. Well, they find this guy, this black gentleman, who is a nerd with braces, fucked up haircut, and to be the body double for Eddie Murphy in this action movie. Come to find out later on, is Eddie Murphy's real brother in the film. Um, and, you know, he's like, it's nice that you guys like me for who I am because you know, most people only like me because of who my brother is. It's, it's, it's enduring, it's touching, and it's funny as shit. Now, the part that made me laugh the most in this film, there was an action scene where uh, <laughs> Eddie Murphy had to run across the street on the freeway. And Steve Martin's lying to him. Yeah, these are stunt drivers, don't worry. Your life is not in danger. You're totally safe. Lying through his teeth. And Eddie Murphy runs across the freeway. I'm telling you, if you have not seen the scene, just go to YouTube and watch this scene. It is funny as shit. You know, I forget what a genius and how funny Eddie Murphy was and still is. This scene alone had my gut busted up from laughing. He's running across the street. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's dodging traffic and everything. It is hilarious. He almost dies. He's like, oh, God. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, God. I don't want to do this again. Oh, God. Oh, God. He said, hey, man, great job, man. I need you to do it one more time. He's running across the street. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> man, funny as shit. Eddie Murphy is a genius. But I got to say this. Terrence Stamp is also in this movie. He plays the leader of Minehead, the group that helps troubled actors and actresses and famous people, you know, with their problems with social anxiety and things like that. It's played by Terrence Stamp. Yeah, General Zod from Superman 2. Son of Gerald, you will kneel before Zod. This man is great in this movie. He's funny as shit. And I'm telling you, man, this movie is a gem. And if you are a fan of film, a fan of movie making behind the scenes in Hollywood, this is the movie to watch. Not only is it funny, it's a good social lesson of how Hollywood is and how things work and how a small independent film 
can actually make it into the big leagues if you try to do things right. All you need is one star to be in your small film to make it a big film. And like I said, man, this movie has a lot of hijinks, crazy capers. It is funny. Steve Martin, Eddie Murphy are comedy gold. Great supporting cast. I love this film. You got to watch it, man, if you haven't seen it. It is a classic. Until the next time, be sure to like, share, subscribe, tell all your friends, and more importantly, leave your comments down low. And I'm out. Peace. And just remember, it's just my point of view.